Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The crosstab report format allows you to view information in one column by information displayed in another column, and then display the summary value of yet a third column within the intersecting report cells. In essence, a crosstab looks very much like a giant spreadsheet would, and perhaps you have a familiarity with using crosstab data from spreadsheet applications. For example, if you had a single data table, which had a column for every sale, the customer of the sale, the sale date, and the sales total, you could create a crosstab that lists the sales grouped by quarter across the top of the crosstab report, with the names of the customers listed on the left side of the report, and then the sum of all the sales totals for each customer by quarter, shown in the intersecting cells. Crosstab reports are complete and separate reports that can stand well on their own. Often, they will interfere with summary data displayed in a primary report when inserted as a report object. Ensure that you try to only use crosstab reports as subreports within primary reports that share the same record set or underlying tables. If you still have difficulty, you can instead create the crosstab report as a separate report and then link it to the primary report as an on demand subreport. You can create a crosstab report by selecting File from the menu bar, rolling down to the New command, and then choosing the crosstab report command. That will open the crosstab report creation wizard. On the first screen, you simply select the data on which you wish to base the report. Select the tables to use from the listing shown in the available data sources list, and then click the right pointing arrow button to move the selected table or tables into the selected tables list at the right side of the dialog box. Then click the next button to continue. If you added multiple tables, the next screen you'll see is the link screen where you can inspect the joins between the tables that you've added to the crosstab report. When you're finished setting any table joins, click the next button to continue. The next screen, titled Crosstab, allows you to add fields from the available fields list into the Rows, Columns, and Summary Fields section by selecting the desired field and then clicking the right pointing arrow button that appears next to the desired section. Fields that are added into the columns and rows list will effectively be treated like grouped fields in that they will only display their unique values in the columns or rows. Fields that are added to the summary fields section will display the result of a calculation for the intersecting cells of the columns and rows value. Note that you can select a field within the summary field section and then use the drop down that appears below that section to change which calculation is performed on that field's data values. Also for some types of fields such as date time fields that are added to the columns or the rows, you can select which level of grouping to apply to the selected field from the drop down that appears below those sections as well. When you're finished, click the next button to continue. The next screen is the chart screen. You can select a type of chart which you would like to see in the report by choosing a selected chart type from the option buttons available at the top of the screen. This is the same as the chart screen in the standard report creation wizard. When you're ready to continue, click the next button. In the record selection screen, you select a field or fields by which you want to filter the records within the selected tables. This is the same as the record selection screen within the standard report creation wizard. When you're ready to continue, click the Next button. In the Grid Style section, you can select a default design template to apply to your crosstab data from the styles shown in the Available Styles list. After you've selected a style from the list, 
Simply click the Finish button to finish creating your crosstab report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.